Hello and welcome to our today's tutorial. I am going to demonstrate how you can represent your Pearson correlation data with the graph using the graph pad prism. Uh, first of all, you have to arrange the data. This is my data table. Here, all the parameters are arranged in, in the column order. Now I am going to copy this and we'll paste this in the row order. Therefore, you have to copy this data click on new and there will, uh, I will need six column, create six column and right but click on the right button, choose the paste transpose, select paste data, control shift T, you can also do this. And my, all my data has been transferred from the column to the row. Now I have to draw the graph, click on the graph portion, select, grouped, select on summary, select only mean, click on okay. And you see that uh, this is the data. Now I am going to apply the result for the Pearson correlation within this data. I'm going to omit this white title. I'm going to delete this data option, I'm going to delete this legend going to delete this title okay now i i will change the color of this column i will select the color as like this okay now i'm going to expand this one okay now i'm going to apply the significance level the significance level was previously measured you can see a tutorial that has that the link of this tutorial will be present in the description part. I have taken the significance value in the Microsoft Word and you see that the significance uh, the correlation between the gallic acid and DB base has been signified with the two asterisk and gallic acid versus lipid with an asterisk and so on. Now I am going to show this correlation within this graph. I have already uh, done one graph. So this is my graph. In this graph, I was uh, previously working with this uh, to allocate the significance level. So now I am going to signify, uh, relate the gallic acid with the hydroxyl. And from the previous analysis, it, it has been found that the hydroxyl radical has two star significance with the gallic acid. So I am going to in, put two star in this, between these two column. Click on here, choose this portion, draw two star, two star, and drop your pen, and you will find a two star. Now I am going to extrapolate this part through this one. Going to change the color of this correlation with the green since from one PT thickness, and this is the hydroxyl radical. In this way, I'm going to put the relationship between the reducing and antioxidant. Reducing has the relationship with one asterisk. Going to change the color. PT. Okay, this has been done. And finally, the final one with total antioxidant with two asterisk. Going to change the two asterisk. The final one. Two asterisk. Going to indicate that this is for an total antioxidant. Going to change the color one pt. Okay, now it is done. I'm going to. I have to bring this in a lower portion. I will assign a title for this graph. I have done a previous graph. 
and the title will be ZAE. I want to change the color of this writing. Okay. This writing has slightly over push this one. Going to export this one as PNG 200 TPI. E -E. Okay, now it is exporting. Okay, it has been exported, copying this data, and I'm going to paste this result just beneath the data table. So, this is the correlation between LHCT equivalent and antioxidant resolute antiquated stress activities. Okay, that's all. Thanks to all for watching.